folks. Yeah, welcome to part five of the Luthiers Layer series detailing the gas based, jazz based shaped wine table. Yes, some luthier, not exactly a bass guitar, but shaped what, like one and using the same sort of skill set to make a, a bass guitar body and just woodworking in general, you know. So today, I think we're going to get this thing done. Yes, and then it'll be on its merry way to its next owner, or its new owner, should I say. Okie dokie then, uh, I've just finished uh, staining the the base of the table here, and you know, I can see little pieces that need touched up, so what I usually do, and this is pine, it's been sealed, but it's still absorbent, um, funnily enough. I will reseal it after the uh, the stain dries, but what I can do is use a Q-tip, cotton bud, dip that in there, and then just go into the corners where I see stuff still kind of pine coloured. It's a bit of dust. If you're really quick about it, which I'm not going to be right now, there we go. You can go in there and just mop that up with a short towel and then again you know if your perimeter there is a bit off you can do that go in make sure that's blended okay so that's just a quick tip to get into those hard to access corners you can do the same thing on a a guitar when you're staining it and finishing it if you can't get right in there depends on the shape of the guitar of course you just go right in <coughs> excuse me and bravo done and of course I did it was sanded to uh, 320 grit yes and there's the, the underside of the table feet are not on it yet now, if I want to be really pernickety about this, I can uh, go in there and stain the uh, countersinks that I did for these. Just using the Q-tip. Nice and gentle. Doesn't need much at all. So absorbent. And there you go, it's, it makes it look much more finished and sort of professional, you know, you, you know, any little bits and pieces that you think might not affect a customer's opinion, invariably will. So, you know, try and do your best, make sure everything's there, might even go down the hole inside there. It does give a better contrast also. So when the, this is going to be sold as a kit, only two pieces to, three pieces to assemble really, is the, the center column and the top of, t uh, of the table. And if everything's looking nice, and the instructions are simple, everything else like that, then you're going to have a happy customer and that's what it's all about isn't it happy customer so inside of that too and we're done and that's the base of the table stained and ready to uh, maybe seal again I think I'll seal that again sand it back again and then it's ready for finish which I haven't decided yet the prototype I, I finished in a wax finish, so and it looks really nice. So anyway, cool. Okay, so uh, yeah, I just got this sort of tape together right now. Uh, I've got some reflective material now in the box. It needs to be tidied up a little bit, but I need to mock it up to see if it's actually going to work because it's the first time I've tried this. So. Let's, uh, let's put the battery in right now. OK. 
Okay, and that's our ambient colour. Wah, wah, wah. Yes, it works. It works. It works. Yes, yes. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. One, two. So, yeah, it's working. Yeah. <sighs> Doesn't work with farts. Probably need to change the frequency response, right? <laughs> anyway, yeah, it'll work. Um, I'll probably need to uh, adjust the sensitivity of it. Um, I'm talking quite loudly here, but... Uh, right, let's see what happens if I do this. Yeah, it works. So... Then this part will go on, of course, here, sort of, like that, and you'll get the ambience coming up there. Actually, let me get a, excuse me, excuse me. Is that, is that a bit better? Yeah, you can see the ambience of it right now when I'm speaking, and uh, you can see that when I cover it and you can see all the colours going as I speak so that's awesome, it does work and it looks really good and with a bottle in there the uh, the light will shine through the bottle and it'll look fantastic when music's playing ok? yeah yes so that's, that's working next thing to do is try it with music it'll probably be my own music though because uh, I don't want a copyright strike you know <laughs> anyway, on to the next. Okay, while I'm waiting on other stuff to happen or dry or finish or get on with, I can uh, go ahead and start to finish off the base of the table here. I'll take a piece of lint-free cloth. And I've decided to do this in tongue oil, which is a beautiful finish and also harder wearing than wax so I will fold this up so I get a little pad to work with there and what I have here is a little mix of like 60% min wax tongue oil finish to 40% mineral spirits just for extra absorption I've already put a coat on of the tongue oil and left it for like 20 minutes and then wiped it off with a shop towel and same thing for the second coat so dip it in and just start applying it smooth even strokes some people just rub it on and then smooth it out after and that's fine too this is just the way I'm used to working just keep dipping it keep working it start up here there's a bit too much on the cloth here but that's okay it will be white smooth afterwards and down here as well checking them in short there and that's it there you go okay for the trees again same thing and you can just actually rub that quite a bit around the edges there yeah. make sure it's in every nook and cranny there you go same thing here and a little bit more while on there Trying not to get in short here. And dry spot there. And there's a couple of splatters I see. We'll just even that up in a minute. Okay. Splatters there. May as well just go over this again. Nice, even strokes don't need to push hard at all 
of course. All we'll do is applying the oil here, giving it 10 to 15 minutes to sit and absorb, and then we wipe off the excess and do it again and again and again, maybe about six coats, and then we'll leave it a good couple of weeks to dry, maybe, maybe about a couple of weeks. Just depends. With this mix, it dries faster because the mineral spirits pulls the oil into the wood. So that's it. Bit more on there, I think. Yep. Okay, that's all there is to it. Cool. Okay, so uh, yeah, we've got uh, certain things fitted here. Battery boxes came in today. I put the battery box in. There's a nice switch there. I wonder what that's for. Yeah, the electronics are down there. The, I have the plexiglass in as well. I'm going to be cutting a, a square here to, and I'm going to put footers in here so that the plexiglass comes to about here. He, not not here, here, he, not not here, about here, right? And then uh, yeah, and then we can put that piece in, you know, and uh, get it all assembled, and put the side in like this, and then we'll we'll get it all squared up and everything. Ah, but there you go. So let's switch it on and see what happens. Eh, eh. Ready? Woo! Woo! Oh, that's nice. I like that. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh. Did that glow in my face? Did it? I don't know. It's reacting to my voice, though. That's what I wanted to do. Oh! Actually, it should be adjusted a bit more for bass. Guys, it's a good tone. Actually, tone would be better, I think. But anyway, it's a bass guitar table, so I might adjust it for tone. Uh, for bass, I mean. So, yeah, that's all working nice. And we'll stand up like that, you know, and you'll, you'll get the... See how it really reflects? It's really uh, quite remarkable, the reflection you get off it. It's amazing. Um... Brilliant, yeah. Hello, hello there. Hi, how you doing? Woo! If you if you talk like a smurf, it works. Yeah. So yeah, switch it off, and all we need to do now is put the plates, get the standoffs in there, plates the glass in, seal that so it's waterproof, and I will seal it all up and make everything waterproof, and uh, yeah, then we'll uh, finish it. And we will attach it to the uh, the base of the table and uh, the base that is the tabletop, and we'll be fine, I think. All right, Tickles. Yes, I've lowered the light in the workshop for a specific reason. Uh, yeah, the. Um, the column is, is kind of built, I need to sand it down and stuff, make it nice and smooth. Femme is on, and I put some nice Babinga panels on opposite sides of the switch, which is here. Why did I do that? Well, the veneer of the actual wood of the column on those sides slightly peeled and I thought well how am I going to cope with that I'll put two panels of Bubinga plywood on the side makes it look nice there Bubinga not there Bubinga see there and not there there not there right so if we set it let's set it that way set it that way and let's throw the switch which is, where the hell did I put it? Oh yeah, I put it around this side, didn't I? <laughs> oh, oh. Now see, this is a marked improvement from the original prototype that I did, um, which was a dark light 
a really bad mistake on my part. But I'm going to rattle a wine bottle in there. See that? Isn't that awesome? Wait, wait a minute, I'll, I'll dim the lights even more. Just, 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 just wait, just wait. Okay, that should be even better. What about that? Yeah, let's have a look at that. That looks nice, doesn't it? Oklahoma with the wind, go blows it down a plane. See, and it will uh, change uh, colour every time it detects any noise there. Yeah. So if you've got music playing, it will react to it. You see, it's absolutely, uh, it looks fantastic right now, the way it is. And I'll, I'll put the lights back on and show you what's happening in there. Um, oh God, I can't even see where I'm going now. That's it. All right. That's it. Is that better? That's better, isn't it? Yeah, let's put this light on too. Here we go. Okay, so that kind of drowns that out, but you can still see the whoa, mana from heaven type thing going on there. So what is going on there? Well, hold on. We have, what I did here was, there's the strip light, okay? But there's plexiglass underneath there. You can see it probably with the shine. And it's been siliconed in there, so it's completely water resistant. Or waterproof, I hope, uh, so that condensation won't seep into the wood. The wood has been treated on the inside anyway with an exterior uh, wood treatment uh, solution. But, yeah, that's that's the way it stands right now. Looks good, right? Yeah. So, those panels were to hide mistakes, but I really like them. I might put them on all four sides and make a cutout for that too. But now I'm running into huge costs, so I want to keep it, you know, level costed. Uh, speaking of leveling, I've got to, you know, just tidy up this part, but I can show you something else. This is uh, almost dry. Uh, this part, and there you go. Sits on top like that, that goes in. Switch that on, and you got your stuff going, you know. So, yeah, looks quite good. <laughs> okay, onwards and upwards. Pretty damn awesome, right? Well, I'm going to have to stretch this one into a part six. Yes. Um, that's all we've got time for in this episode but um, yeah I'll stretch it into a part 6 and finish this project off get it out the door and uh, we'll show some final assembly and stuff like that and uh, how the actual thing looks and works when it's all set up and done so um, ho I hope you enjoy this uh, this series I'm certainly enjoying it and uh, yeah I'm going to have a, be having a special announcement Probably later on, um, the next video that I post will be a kind of a special announcement of uh, some some plans I have that are quite interesting, especially for people in the local community here in South Florida, in the southern three or four counties of South Florida. Should be fun. Should be real fun. Anyway, so until next time, as usual, stay safe, be good. We'll catch you later. If you enjoy the channel, please consider subscribing if you haven't done so already. And to all my subscribers and people who support me, thank you very much again. And again, thanks for watching, folks. Give me a thumbs up. I'll catch you next time. Take care. Bye-bye.